Hello, my wonderful dear friend, brothers and sisters, eh, including my haters, eh, including my lovers, eh, all of honor. My prayer to you all oh, is that Chineke, Premi Yenile, Chuko Kabia, Moya de Puku, Oyana Puko Geline, we do what? We open our eyes and our understanding to know that all the glitters are not good. I have seen a lot of comments from uh, the, the, the broadcast or the video I made this morning concerning uh, Simon Epa. And I was laughing. I told you people several times, and I will still repeat myself without holding anybody, um, without uh, any apology, that it takes a criminal to know one, and it takes a scammer to know one. Use your tongue and count your teeth. But time will tell, because Mazen Nam de Kano, we never die uh, in DSS. Uh, dungeon, we are waiting for his release. When he come out, then you all will know whether I am right or wrong. So whatever comment or whatever bashing, whatever insult you have or you are giving to me now, just reserve it. Make sure you are packing it uh, inside a sack and I'll be reserving my own. So when that time is right, then we will know who is saying the truth or who is not saying the truth. But for now, let us face the real business of the day. And this issue of sit at home, I thought this thing have been, uh, have been no more some uh, miscreants. That call yourself I pub enforcer sit at home. I mean uh, the 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 Simon Epa boys who are everywhere forcing people to sit at home, destroying lives and properties. Three of them oh, have been shot dead in Enugu State as of uh, yesterday, being Monday, the eighteenth day of uh, September in the year of twenty twenty three. This one hope me talk a message na inkare and come and they bring on at on a doorstep. So that on a go so follow me reason this matter about the sit at home, the killing of the miscreants, whether they are working for iPod or are working for autopilot, or they are working on their own for their own selfish desire and interest. I cannot say. But the simple truth still remains that three of them have been gone down. When they are forcing people that they must go into sit at home. So this one and a part of the headline I'm going to treat today. Sit at home, suspected iPod members. Three of them have been shot dead in Enugu State. No easy solution to Nigeria's economic problem. Oh, this one is coming from that uh, Nigerian uh, uh, Temi Tayo, Jayela, Olawaki, Me, Abimbola, and, uh, and, uh, and whatever they call him. Uh, this, um, uh, this man is from the United States. So he's a Nigeria that is uh, working for the United States. Uh, I think uh, uh, he's a U.S. Deputy Secretary of Treasury. Wale Awale Adeyemo. And I still remember I'm, the, the guy is in Nigeria as I'm talking to you now. This guy don't come out openly and let us know. So let everybody who keep on saying, oh, APC, Jagaban, uh, they will do magic, uh, Chetima, uh, you know, he have experience. He said no easy solution to Nigeria's economic problem. So everything, what would I say see now? The bottom line is that the, the sovereign, this one now, is just a tip of the iceberg of what Nigeria is going to witness in the time to come, before the end of this year, I can assure you that the gasoline price will reach 1,000 naira per liter and the dollar will also be one to one, 1,000 to one dollar. Be rest assured, look at the statement of the so called president of the APC and Fulani in a river state. I've been on for Abuja self where they go uh, visit them with uh, um, Wiki and the rest of them. He said Nigerians have no reason to be poor. Tell me how, why they cannot be poor, whereby the, the decisions that have been making in this country favors only the rich, not even the poor. In the National Assembly, common ordinary two days uh, holiday, they are sharing two, two million naira. While poor masses on the street that voted them in there to go and serve them have become, have been sleeping with empty stomach, going out with empty, empty stomach. People keep on dying on daily basis because of hunger. Some people are walking on the street and they will slump and die. Maybe they will say, oh, it's heart attack, my dear, it's hunger. Hunger is in the land. Look at it. This one is from a U.S. Uh, uh, Deputy Secretary, uh, tre uh, Secretary uh, Treasury, I mean, how do they call it? He already said it, you say, make on another expect magic, or make on another expect, expect say, hey, uh, okay, after uh, Turumbu, um, naming almost, uh, uh, naming all the whole of his kinsmen, both his allies, everything, all his Lagos boys, all of them is into position now in Asorok. All of them now is ministers. Even if you like, he can pack all the whole Ogum state, all the whole Ogum state, Ocean state, uh, Ondo, and the rest of them as ministers. 
He said, there's no, <laughs> there's no easy road to, to what? To London or US. You must pass the normal road, to, which is going through the airport, entering the flight, and PM, you, unless you'll be winch. But I doubt if that winch, which of 18 exists. Uh, they only exist in Nigeria that somebody will say, hey, uh, a witch will fly from Nigeria and go to UK. And that witch is still poor. He cannot fly from, from uh, his house and go inside the Central Bank of Nigeria and pack all the whole dollars, diamonds and the gold that's inside there. Only in their imagination. No easy solution to Nigeria's economic woes, according to a US man. Then another one we have here is a, a capitalist priest and six others abducted in Enugu State. Okay, this abduction. What is uh, the so-called uh, uh, people that want to use air bombardment? Common land bombardment, seven. I never even talk on. I want to use air bombardment to finish all the whole Biafrans. Ndara, ndara. Anyway, my wonderful Biafran brothers and sisters, I beg you. Let us read this in between the lines of this news. Remember, you need to like, comment, subscribe, and of them all, share this message. Sit at home. Suspected uh, whether they are IPOB or not, not IPOB, but and I still remember say all these are our Nigerian uh, pro, uh, media propaganda and uh, they, are, they, are, they are policemen. Everything now is IPOB. If a woman has miscarriage, it's IPOB. Anyone, anything they are doing is IPOB. May we hear the news. How will this thing take be? The police force in Enugu State on Monday say the combined security force has killed three members of the Eastern Security Network of the indigenous people of Biafra who we are planning to enforce the illegal sit at home in the state. This one, I debunk this uh, news. This is a propaganda. Eastern Security Network, as we've been formed and we know for over two years now, have nothing to do with the enforcement of sit at home. These people forcing sit at home are miscreants. Either they are working on their own or they are working for the autopilot leader, Mazi Simon Epa. The Biafran. Uh, a republic, I be Biafran Prime Minister Republic in exile. Now his purpose, now be that. Because he keep on inaugurating armies here and there that will be forcing people to go sit at home or go into hiding. The security operatives also recover three guns and cutlasses during a shootout between the security forces drawn from a police special court and troops of the Nigerian army in the operation that took place early in the morning. A statement by the command spokesperson Daniel Lundukwe read at about 2.15 a.m. on Monday, September 18, 2023, a joint security team comprising police operatives of the Enugu State Command, Nigeria Police Force, uh, okay, NPF Special Forces, and troops of the 8th Division of the Nigeria Army Enugu, acting on a credible intelligence, busted the criminal hideout of IPOB and ESN subversive criminal elements in Ezioha, Mbo, in our local government area, while they were perfecting plans to enforce the illegal at home order in the state. Three of the hoodlums who opened fire on the joint team upon sighting them were neutralized, while several others escaped with severe degrees of gunshot wounds in the ensuing gunfight. Uh, gun Three pump action guns, ten matches, and other incriminating SBs were recovered while an intense manhunt for those on the running is ongoing. However, the director of media and publicity of the sessionist group, Iman Powerful, said that those arrested were not IPOB members. On a hearing, in other development, no solution, no easy solution to Nigeria's economic woes. Uh, from the horse's mouth. There is no quick and easy solution to Nigeria's economic challenges the United States government has disclosed. The U.S. Deputy Secretary of Treasury, Wale Adeyemo, who stated this at a forum with the business leaders in Lagos, said the country lacks a macroeconomic framework to attract more dollar-dominated foreign direct investment into its economy. He spoke at the Lagos uh, Business School on the U.S.-Nigeria economic relationship. There's no quick, easy solution to these challenges. I want to be honest about that. That is what true partners are, Adeyomo told his audience. But uh, ultimately, we know that by helping to make investments in Nigeria economic 
in your business, especially SMEs. We can help build a type of ecosystem that can help Nigeria be successful over time, he added. The U.S. Deputy Secretary, who arrived in Nigeria on Sunday, is on a visit to the country as part of the President Joe Biden's administration's commitment to deepening the U.S.-Africa economic and trade relationship, all to kick China out of Africans or out of Nigeria. According to him, why the early start of the new administration will help the country attract investors, there are still concerns from the investors as regards the repatriation of their rep uh, yeah, repatriation of their funds. Adeyomo, who was responding to a question about investment and the Nigerian economy from the audience, said Nigeria lacks a, ma a macroeconomic uh, uh, macroeconomic framework that is going to help to bring more foreign direct investment, including dollar-based foreign investors, into the country. The early steps of the government has taken is good in terms of what they have done, physical policy. In terms of what they are trying to do with unifying the exchange rates, more needs to be done, and they, uh, and they recognize that. The truth is, as a companies and around the world become more comfortable with their approach, you would expect that Nigeria will be a destination for FDI, according to this uh, Adeyomo. In another development, Adeyomo noted that the government needs to develop a macroeconomic framework that demonstrates its commitment to the fundamentals and this will, in turn, help attract foreign investors to the country and help the country's economy trade. According to the Deputy Secretary, proposed reforms by the Nigerian government will not bring quick solutions because things have been difficult economically over the past years due to the COVID-19, the Russian-Ukraine war, and the confusing exchange rate policy, all in Nigeria. We need to make sure that uh, as you are making the transition, which will take longer than anyone wants, that you are taking steps to make sure that you are helping Nigerians who are feeling it the most. But I think the most important point is that you need to put reforms in place that allows people to bring in capital into the country in a way that they are secured and can take their money out when they choose to and they continue to make investments. He said, according to him, America is bullish in, on Nigeria's because of its people. He stated that the recently introduced reforms in Nigeria were long overdue. He said the U.S. had made it clear to the Nigerian government that it wanted to partner in the implementation of the reforms so that Naira will keep on falling and U.S. will keep on increasing. He disclosed this. He disclosed, and uh, this is not just the U.S., the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and the other international institutions too. I know that before I came, I spoke to the president of the World Bank, who has uh, seen the president of the administration uh, of the administration and is ready to work with them in terms of trying to help make the transition easier, especially for Nigerians feeling the pinch. He noted that the United States is one of the largest foreign investors in Nigeria, with the country being the U.S. second largest African trading partner. He stated that uh, the U.S. government provided Nigeria with over $1 billion assistance in 2022 to support Nigerians with access to health care and reduce food insecurity. Where are this money? Nowhere to be found. New reforms. Since President Bola Etunumu began his tenure on May 29, 2023, he has implemented many reforms with the unification of the exchange rates and removal of face subsidy handling these reforms. The unification of the Naira has pushed the exchange rate from 471 Naira per dollar to about 800 Naira per dollar. The removal of a fuel subsidy has caused the price of fuel to surge from between 185 Naira to 220 and to 617 Naira per liter. These policies have contributed to a recent spike in the country's inflation rate, which rose to 25.80% in August last month.
according to the World Bank, 7.1 million Nigerians will become poor if the federal government fails to compensate or provide palliatives for them following the removal of the fuel subsidy. 7.1 people is what they said. That is to add there to 130 million people that we are, that is, it is going to 140 million Nigerians. Or one, okay, 140.1 140 million. The reforms have been met with mixed reactions and recently, the labor unions in the country embarked on a two-day warning strike, stable Naira and the security. While back in the unification policy in his speech, Adeyemo explained that a state a stable Naira is good for the country and businesses. However, he alerted that the path to unification will not be easy, but the government must be commended for taking the difficult step. He said, unifying Nigeria's uh, foreign exchange rates will create the kind of microeconomic stability that is essential to attracting foreign investment. He further stated that Nigeria should be more concerned with the FDI, that comes from companies that want to invest in its economy and people. He argued that Nigeria's investment portfolio will increase once it starts out its uh, macro macroeconomic uh, framework. Commenting on the country's security challenges, the U.S. representative stated, "There are two different security challenges, but we are very in invested in working with Nigeria." To address them because the insecurity that exists in Nigeria doesn't exist only within your borders. We know that to be to, we know that uh, to be the case. That is why America is interested in a strategic and economic partnership with Nigeria. We also want to ensure that we are making investments in communities all over Nigeria to demonstrate to the people that there are economic opportunities in their communities that take them away from doing actions that hurt them and their communities. The last but not the least, Catholic priests and see others abducted. Government suspected to be his men have abducted a Catholic priest and six other motorists in Enugu State. Their abduction came barely 24 hours after a middle-aged man was killed and several others kidnapped in separate locations in Enugu State on Saturday. The security agencies, the so-called A2 Division of Enugu, and all the combined task force that is fighting IPOB or are the fighting criminals, they didn't see these people. They only struck when these people must have finished their uh, assignment. They kidnapped priest Reverend Father Marcelinus Okide, a parish priest of St. Mary's Catholic Church, Amofia Ago Afa in Udi, local government area of the state was kidnapped on Sunday evening around 5 p.m. along A.K. Afa Egbede Road while returning to his parish. The Catholic, the Catholic Diocese of Enugu State has confirmed his abduction and called on Christians to pray for his safety. Eh? Pray and I ain't going to solve a bit more than go pray on a ransom. <laughs> it, is that, it, is, uh, it is turn by turn. The Diocese Communication Director, Reverend Father Antonio Neke, who confirmed uh, his abduction in a statement, Decried the upsurge in insecurity in the state. Southeast and the entire country appealing to both the security agencies and the government to live to the calling and ensure the security of Nigerians at all times. Titled Enugu Diocese Priest Kidnapped, Diocese called for prayers for Aneke. Father Aneke said that Father Okide was kidnapped at approximately 5 p.m. while traveling along the Eke Ebwe Afa Road. The statement partly read, in a troubling incident, Reverend Father Marcelinus Obioma Okide, a Catholic priest, was abducted on September 17, 2023, at approximately 5 p.m. while traveling uh, to that uh, Ukafa uh, road. Father Okide, who serves as a Mary's Amorphia Agu Parish, was an enrolled to parish when the unfortunate incident occurred. The diocese has issued a fervent appeal to the faithful and the public at large for prayers, hoping for the swift and safety or safe release of Father Okide. Additionally, they are calling for a change of heart on the part of the kidnappers. That uh, this uh, distressing event highlights the ongoing challenge of kidnappings in the region. They call that a middle-aged man identified as Sunday Ugwaja was killed along Edem Robo 
Ezio Kale, Abe Road, Iluzu Owane, cancelled on Saturday evening, and several others were also seriously wounded by kidnappers who lay shared on the road for several hours without any challenge, no any security outfit or whatsoever <laughs> is harassing them. But they are busy looking for IPOPs. Nigeria, I mean, the Southeast, have been militarized not to fight insecurity but to look for innocent IPOPs and uh, Biafrans. And innocent and uh, 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 hard working uh, Biafrans to molest, kidnap, stole, and they stole money from them. Sunday, who heard from uh, Apapam village, Ezi Kola, a big community, was said to be headings to Nsoka on Saturday evening when the assailant ambushed them and killed him. The Enugu State Police Command has yet to re re react to the incident. Why would they react? The State Police Public Relations Officer, Daniel Ndukwe, did not respond to several calls put across him. However, operatives of the UD Police Division are said uh, to be combine, uh, combine the area to secure the release of the Catholic priests and other victims involved. This is the word of Okute. Thanks be to the <laughs> Okute Daily Talk. Anyway, my wonderful people, now here we will take leave on. And I don't hear the issue with the ground. I beg you, make on our put on our prayers. I be on our incantations to the area that is needed prayers for this uh, Father Okide that was being kidnapped. And also prayer, no go solve the issue. Rather than go and pay your <laughs> go and pay your tithe. <laughs> this one is calling tithe. Go and pay your tithe, Father, and uh, get him released. As simple as that. Anyway, my wonderful people, help me like this message, share, comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel for better news next time. Have a nice day. May the good Lord bless you as you do that. The Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Until I come here again and see the men. Okute daily talk. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye for now. Kemesiano.